Hello everyone and welcome back to Slow Living Pilates with me, Hayley. Today's video is going to be a gentle, beginner-friendly Pilates flow. So it's going to be a beautiful blend of lots of different Pilates moves. I'm going to offer different levels of challenge and it's just going to feel really soothing and beautiful for the body while we build strength. So when you're ready, we're going to start in a seated position. Bring in that core, so bring your navel in towards your spine and let's start by doing some breaths. So inhale as the arms come up above the head and then exhale, bring the palms down to the heart space. We're gonna do three of these all together. So just work by lengthening the breath and allowing yourself to be present in this moment. Beautiful, then placing the hands on the knees, we're going to go into some head rolls. So you can do this in any way that feels good for you. Maybe it's going one way, starting with half rolls and then the other, and then gradually moving into full head rolls, just ironing out any creases in the neck, in the upper back and the shoulders. Just taking any moment movement that you feel your body needs here. Good, come back to neutral and we're gonna place our right hand down on the mat and sweep over with our left hand for a side stretch. You can come onto the forearm here if that's available to you. If not, just stay on the hand and really concentrate on pressing down with that opposite knee and opposite hip to create a wonderful stretch in the side of the body. We're going to inhale as we turn the chest towards the floor and then exhale, open out the chest towards the sky. We're gonna do three more of these. So flow at your own pace. Beautiful, and then let's windmill the arms all the way over to the other side. So coming onto the left hand or onto the forearm, sweeping across with the right arm, pressing the opposite knee or hip down towards the mat, creating space in the right side of the body. And then we're gonna take our inhale as the chest turns towards the mat. Exhale, chest comes to the ceiling. We've got two more, inhale. Exhale, lift and open through the chest. Inhale, and then exhale, open towards the sky. And then coming back to a neutral spine. We're gonna take our left hand now, place it on our right knee, and then circle back with the right arm, pressing into the fingertips at the back and looking over the right shoulder. Just breathing deep into this twist, sitting up as tall as you can, and remembering that core connection, bringing your belly button in towards your spine. Good, circle that right arm all the way back over to place the right hand on the left knee. We're gonna circle back with the left arm now, pressing into those left fingertips and looking over the left shoulder. Sitting up nice and tall and breathing deep into the stretch. Beautiful, well done. Let's come now to a seated position. We're gonna to come to the front of the mat and bring our knees in front of us. So make sure you're sitting up nice and tall on top of your sit bones and then really work to bring that navel in towards your spine. We're gonna hold ourselves behind the thighs here and then on your next exhale, we're gonna round through the spine, lowering to about halfway. Inhale to recover and then exhale to recline about halfway down. So we're just warming up through the spine here, warming up through those abdominal muscles Exhale as we recline back. 
and then this time option here to release the thighs and start moving with the arms so we'll inhale to recline up exhale to come back down inhale take the arms above the head exhale return to center and inhale to sit up so we're going to do this once more good inhale arms sweep back exhale coming back to center and then inhale to sit all the way back up exhale now and we're going to roll all the way down onto our backs with control beautiful bringing the feet in now so that the knees are facing up towards the ceiling and then really tilting the pelvis to make sure that the whole of the back is printed on the mat we're going to bring our legs into tabletop and arms raised towards the ceiling we're going to work here to extend forward and back, opposite arm to leg. So we're going to go with our right arm and left leg, and then left arm and right leg. Let's work to layer in the breath. So we'll inhale to extend and exhale to return to center. So making sure that the whole of the back is imprinted into the mat beneath you. If you are feeling that back start to arch off the mat, then feel free to keep that leg a little bit higher off of the mat, just to protect your lower back here. Wonderful. Now bring those arms around the back of your head to support your neck. We're going to inhale here and on your exhale, head, neck and shoulders lift off the mat and we're going to sweep the arms forward. Inhale to lower. Exhale, sweep and lift. Inhale, lower. Really good. So keep flowing with this. Really crunching through the abdominals here. Really working to bring that navel in towards your spine. Let's make this our last one. Good. This time we're going to keep it lifted. Turn your palms so they're facing towards the mat and we're going to pump our arms, inhaling for one, two, three, four and exhale, two, three, four and inhale, two, three, four and exhale, two, three, four. Option here, if this is feeling a little bit strong, to lower the feet, keep the knees pointing towards the ceiling. Or if you're after a little bit more of a challenge today, option to extend through the legs and keep pumping with those arms. So pick your level of challenge here, wherever feels most comfortable for you and keep using the breath to support you. Wonderful, well done. Take the head down, take the palms down. And then we're just gonna alternate toe dips here. So we're going to lower one leg and then lower the other. Bringing that navel in towards your spine, remembering your core connection. We inhale lower, exhale lift. Good, so this is working through the lower abdominals, those really deep core abdominal muscles that support us with our posture, and with our everyday activities. Wonderful. And then hold yourself here behind the thighs and we're going to rock backwards and forwards along the whole length of the spine. And then on your last one, let's try and give it a hold. So you can either stay with your arms here or you can reach them forward, giving yourself an extra challenge breathe here well done 
come forward now into our plank position. So making sure here that your wrists are underneath your shoulders and that you're in one long line of energy right from the back of your heels to the top of your head. Really bringing that navel in towards your spine, working against gravity. And just work here by rocking backwards and forwards. And then we're gonna go into our knee dips. So we're gonna exhale to dip and exhale. Good. So using the breath to support you here, keep that belly button tucked in towards your spine. You've got it, well done. Pop those knees down, open them nice and wide and come into your child's pose. Reaching forward with your fingertips and just allowing your breath to lengthen, filling the lower back body with the breath. Then when you're ready, we're gonna come into our all fours position. So on our hands and knees, again, making sure our wrists are underneath our shoulders, knees underneath the hips, and working against gravity to bring that navel in towards your spine. Good, as we inhale, we're going to raise an arm and exhale to lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Wonderful, so keep flowing with this, really challenging our core stability here. An option now to either stay here or we can challenge ourselves further by adding opposite leg. So in this case, we're going to exhale to lift, opposite arm to leg, inhale and lower. Working with this, making sure that your lower spine doesn't dip but it stays in one long line. Navel in towards the spine to protect the lower back here. Using the breath to support your movement. Well done. Let's inhale now to drop the rib cage and look up. And then exhaling from the pelvis, we round under, chin comes to chest. Well done. Inhale here, drop the belly, look up. And then exhale, rotating the pelvis first and then everything comes from there to round through. Good. Let's just take two more of these. Inhale to look up and exhale, round it through. Last one, inhale. And then exhale, round through, chin to chest. Let's tuck the toes under now and press your hips high to come into downward facing dog. Just taking a few moments here to pedal through the legs. Do any movement that feels comfortable for you. And then pressing down through the heels. On your next inhale, we're going to raise the right leg into a bent position and then carry that leg all the way forward so that your foot is next to your left wrist and your knee is next to your right wrist, coming into our pigeon pose. So take any small adjustments that you feel you need to take here and really making sure that we're pressing down with that left hip making sure our hips are balanced. And then folding forward, either coming onto the hands or reclining all the way down, resting the forehead on the hands for a wonderful hip opening stretch. Breathing deep here, sending the breath into the hips, into the pelvis.
ready, slowly pressing yourself back up. Let's tuck the toes at the back and then step back into your downward facing dog. And inhale, we're gonna lift the left leg. Exhale, bring it forward. So our left ankle is by our right hand, left knee is by our left hand. And then making any small adjustments that you need so that you're comfortable. Pressing down with the right hip. Let's press into the fingertips to open through the chest. And then exhale, lowering all the way down, either onto the hands or all the way, resting the forehead on the hands. Breathing deep, sending your inhales into that hip space, into the pelvis, creating space and releasing tension. And slowly pressing your way all the way back tucking the back leg and then stepping back into your downward facing dog. Again, taking a few pedals through the legs, placing the feet together. We're going to inhale to lower the knees, just hovering them above the mat and exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend and exhale, straighten. Well done. Let's take the legs all the way down to the mat now. And then coming into a comfortable seated position. Once you're comfortable, bringing the navel in towards the spine and let's lower the right ear towards the right shoulder. Maybe bringing the hand over the top of the head and lengthening through the left arm just to create a little bit more space in the side of the neck. And then let's take it over to the other side. So left ear to left shoulder. Option to bring the left arm over to support the stretch and extend the right arm out long for a deeper stretch. And then placing both hands on the back of the head, just let gravity do its job here and bring the chin towards the chest giving a beautiful stretch across the upper back. Breathing deep, creating space in between the shoulder blades and then coming up to your neutral position. Placing the hands behind you and pressing into the fingertips on the mat. Lifting your chest towards the ceiling and lift your gaze. Breathe deep. Well done. And let's finish class by taking one last breath together. So as we inhale, bringing the arms up and then exhale, palms come down the center line to our heart space. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I really hope you enjoyed today's workout. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video so I know to create more for you guys. Feel free to share this workout with friends and family and I'll see you in my next one.